Sean, and I'm selling a 2007 Keystone Outback 27 RLS Sydney edition. I'm gonna make a little video, show you some of the features and the condition that it's in, just a little bit about this trailer. It's a beautiful trailer. The only reason we're selling it is we upsized, um, but we love this thing. It had great memories. Uh, we've had it for three years. Bought it from an elderly couple who barely used it themselves. Um, we've never lived in this camper. As far as I know, no one's ever lived in it. It's just for vacationing. We took it out maybe six, seven, eight times a year uh, for weekends. And so it's in really, really good condition. So I'm gonna, gonna try to show you that here. So we'll start outside, go inside, and then walk around. So we'll start here with the camp stove. Uh, works really, really good. Use it all the time. They even made spaghetti and meatballs out here one time when we were tailgating watching some college football. Um, this pops up to the propane stove. The sink works. Great, great feature. Uh, I want to tell you a little bit about the, the, uh, the suspension and the tires. I blew a tire last year. Um, you can see some damage here. I haven't gotten around to fixing. Purely cosmetic, nothing structural. But I decided to take that opportunity to replace all four tires um, and also replace the leaf springs in the assembly so the springs are brand new. Um, less than a year ago, and I've probably taken out three times since then. So these tires are brand new. Even the spare, I replaced that brand new tire. So that's a good thing. Also new within the last year is this awning. Uh, I had a little incident in Daytona where the storm cell came through the campground flipped it over so we replaced all this um, and that's a that's a pretty new awning I think it looks great uh, and it works great too so let's go inside and take a look at the inside as you can see there's two entry doors which I really like I like the I like this model because there's rear living space and the front is a beautiful master uh, master suite so I'll show you that in a minute but going to, into the rear living space um, we'll start right here with uh, the accents on this camper are really nice. If you're familiar with the Sydney edition, it was a little upgraded. So these accents and the shades are just uh, beautiful. They function very, very well. Um, every window opens. Uh, you've got a nice skylight here with a uh, retractable cover. Use that all the time. That's really nice to have. Another feature with the Sydney is the cabinet space. So you're going to see a lot of cabinet space in the camper. We would go on trips with, we have seven children, uh, four are grown and out the door. So usually we're, we're with the older three, which are teenagers, um, youngest three rather. And, uh, but there's plenty of space. Um, as you can see, there's one slide out. Uh, works really really well. We'll show you that on the outside um, This uh, this love seat uh, collapses down into a bed, so that's one bed So let me show you a couple other features some really nice uh, uh, Directional lighting here for if you want to read while everyone else might be sleeping maybe um, This of course collapses down into a bed that's a pretty good sized bed right here. There's cabinet space down below. This uh, radio works. It is a little older, so you can listen to the radio. Um, it's got a CD player that doesn't work, but as you can see, there's an aux jack. So you just plug your smartphone in, you can stream anything you wanna to listen to. Another nice feature with the sound system is there are front and rear uh, speakers. So, you know, if the kids are back here watching a movie and I'm in the in the master bedroom, you know, taking a shower, I can jam out to some tunes. Um, and the reverse is true too. If I'm taking a nap, I can turn the speakers off up there. My wife's back here jamming out. So that's a really really nice feature as well. As you can see, we have entertainment system here, lots of cabinet space. Um, this television does work. I will leave it in the camper, so that's included. Color TV, flat screen. Um, course cable and antenna uh, reception there the sink uh, this we we went out and got a went to Lowe's and got a little higher arch sink so you can fit large pots and stuff under there lots of cabinets uh, microwave works hood works um, the stove and and uh, stove and stove and range works this right here, um, 
I replaced this converter when I bought it, and so it's brand new as of three years ago. So all electrical works 100%, no issues with electrical. This AC system, I'm told they replaced it right before I bought it, so this should be new within three years as well. Um, it's ice cold. We go, to, uh, we go to Daytona for the NASCAR race, uh, 4th of July weekend every year. We brought this thing. It's 110 degrees outside. We're sitting in here wearing hoodies because it's so cold. So this, this works really, really well. As you can see, good size refrigerator. So moving to the back, we have the master, uh, master suite here. Let me first show you the commode here. Um, nice, solid, real door. Um, so you got some privacy there. Of course, the fan, in, electric fan inside, that's been replaced uh, within the last probably two years as well. That's pretty new. Um, and everything functions really well with the commode. So that's um, all, all systems go there. One of the things I really liked was this uh, walk-in glass shower. Um, as you can see, there's a little skylight there for tall people like me and uh, works, functions, drains really, really well. Uh, no complaints on that. As you can see, we got a little curtain there to uh, give us some privacy. So looking at the master, uh, master, uh, master bed, uh, that's queen size or double, I can't remember which, I believe it's queen. Uh, very comfortable, we sleep so well in here. As you can see, there's um, cabinet space on either side um, uh, really nice shelf up there and plenty of room down there for whatever you bring with you there's also storage under here I extended this to uh, so the the bed wouldn't sag and there's storage under there okay so again real nice feature there's the door another uh, entertainment center here in the back. It's a smaller TV. We'll include that as well. And there's plenty of cabinet space right there. That's actually where some of the kids put their their stuff when we're when we're out here. Um, let me tell you about the front end a little bit. Um, right after I bought this, there was um, I did detect that there was a some water damage inside. I had the whole thing, the whole front end replaced. This was this would have been three years ago. Had the whole front front end replaced. I've got pictures of that. I'll post those so you can see the the work that was done. Now there's a seam on the outside that if you're not careful, it it will develop micro cracks, and there we get some water penetration there. I've stayed on top of it. You will see there's still a little bit. This is 100% dry, but you'll see it looks like some water got in there. Um, and so I sealed that up and I don't, I don't believe there are any issues whatsoever, certainly no mold or anything like that. Um, it's just, you can see it's like a lot of campers, you just kind of keep, keep an eye out for the, uh, for the leaks. So let's take a look. We'll go back outside, show you a few things there. Another nice feature is this, uh, storage space. It's really, really great. So you open this up you'll see it goes through the entire width of the camper it even opens up on the other end so you can fit all kinds of stuff under here um, really really nice really nice space there here's the front end as you can see there's a little delamination you might not be able to see it here a little delam from the water um, the seam is right up there and again you just got to constantly stay on top of it and we are We've been able to stay on top of it for the most part. I think we've got one little leak. Again, which we've repaired. Again, everything electrical works fine. You've got a power jack here. A couple other things and then we're done. So this is, uh, if you looked at the front, there's no, um, there's no gas tanks because they're integrated inside the body of the camper, which is really, really nice. You can see 10 gallon tanks there uh, and they're in great condition because they're not exposed. So that's a really nice feature. Again, you can, uh, you can access storage on this end as well. That's where I put all my hoses and all the stuff I need on this side. There's your awning. Again, one awning. 
Uh, it does have, it, I mean, one slide out, it does have an awning, so that's nice. Gives it some protection. Um, I just had this kind of rebuilt recently because it was getting loose. But, uh, so that's really solid. Again, come around the back. Uh, that spare tire is brand new. Uh, God forbid anything happen, you'll have a nice spare to uh, get you out of a jam and get you to where you're going. So that's the camper. Um, hope it helps to see everything that, um, all the features and the condition that it's in. You know, for, for a 10 year old camper um, or a 12 year old camper, it's an amazing shape. Um, really no functional issues whatsoever. Uh, it's, we're very comfortable in it, the kids love it. Um, this is our first camper. As I said, we just upgraded to something bigger. Breaks my heart to part ways with this, but I um, want someone else to enjoy it. So thanks for watching this video. If you're interested, information below on how to contact me. Thank you.